Hi everybody, how you doing? Um, and during one of the classes here recently, I had mentioned uh, about uh, our roots of martial arts training, where where we trace our roots back to, and I had uh, spouted out a couple of different names of you know different kinds of martial arts and things like that. Um, one of the parents was a little interested in this, and they wanted me to do a video and kind of elaborate on what these names were and what these words were that I was saying because they they had no idea. So um, the uh, the names or the styles of martial arts I'm going to be talking about right here uh, are Tangsudo and Taekwondo, uh, Mudokwan, Subakdo, Hapkido, and Taekyan. I think that was all of them. I don't think I missed any of them. Uh, but on uh, on our association patch here, we have our uh, the fist here, with, uh, which comes from uh, Mudokwan. Uh, Mudokwan is where we trace our roots back to. Uh, Mudokwan was one of the five major schools or one of the five major Kwans that opened up after the Japanese occupation of Korea ended in 1945. So um, Grandmaster Huang Ki uh, was the founder of that and uh, he called his style of training Tangsudo Mudokwan. Uh, Tangsudo is a style of martial arts that actually originated in China, in the Tang Dynasty of China. The Tang Dynasty in China was very instrumental in the uh, development of the Korean martial arts. Uh, during the Silla dynasty. So they, they were very uh, culturally, very uh, closely related, and um, hence that's where we get Tang Sudo from. Um, now Taekwondo, uh, Taekwondo wasn't created, uh, the name wasn't created until after the Japanese occupation of Korea. I don't have the exact date on that on the top of my head, it's escaping me right now, but uh, General Choi was commissioned by the Korean government to unify the Korean martial arts under one name. Because uh, there was a couple different names, like I had mentioned, even the Subakdo and uh, Taekyan. Uh, we also have Hapkido, and you know the four other major Kwans. They had their own kind of style of martial arts. Um, so General Choi um, did lots of training and um, lots of research, and, and uh, came up with uh, the name of uh, Taekwondo. So he took the Tae from Taekyan, which is a very uh, old style of Korean martial arts. It uh, involves a lot, a lot of fancy kicking, and it. Uh, kind of might even look like dancing to some people if they don't know what they're really looking at. So uh, General Choi took the Tae from Taekyan and made uh, Taekwondo, which uh, mean, literally means the way of punching and kicking or uh, the foot fist way. And uh, so that takes care of uh, Mudokwan. That's where we trace our roots, roots back to. That means the school of martial arts virtue. Um, Subakdo actually uh, can be traced all the way back to the Kagorio dynasty. There's a paintings uh, on uh, temple walls or uh, caves or something about uh, something along those lines of uh, people practicing what looks like Subak Do back in that time. And I think that about takes care of all the, the names I had mentioned. So we covered uh, Mudokwan, uh, we have Mudokwan Fist here on our flag, we have Tung Sudo and Taekwondo, uh, Tung, uh, Taekyan, Subak Do, and then Hapkido. Um, Hapkido um, was originated uh, by uh, Grandmaster uh, Jihan Jae, and that's very much incorporated into our training as well. Uh, a lot of the Hapkido techniques, some of the self-defense that we do, a lot of the break falls. Um, so it's interesting to see how all of the, you know, the Korean martial arts just in general is, uh, you know, influences our training. So lots of the dive rolls and the, the very acrobatic jumping kicks uh, or, you know, come from, uh, Hapkido and uh, Taekyan. Um, one of the one of the kicks we practice a lot uh, in our advanced class is the diagonal kick. I I've, I've never really seen a lot of people do the diagonal kick in any training videos or anything like that until I saw it um, done in uh, in Mudokwan with the Subak Do. So I I saw them doing a lot of uh, uh, diagonal kicks. So it's kind of interesting to see how all this kind of plays together. And uh, that's about it. So I I hope that answers your question. And I uh, hope you find that helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, send, send me an email or uh, send me a Facebook message and um, I'll make another video for you. Have an awesome night, guys. See you later.